Oh, so heavy. Ow. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a very old series. So this is Sanding with Narine. Welcome, welcome, welcome back if you guys, uh, you know, watched some of the original. But it's a series where I'm on my own little Minecraft survival world where we just punch a whole lot of sand. <laughs> and it has been a year and a month since the last time I did a sanding video. That's a long time. <laughs> But we're back, we're back, and I'm excited to do a lot, <laughs> I guess. Uh, just as a reminder, we have a full, large chest of sand, and we're working on our next one. So, mostly, if you guys are new, I have a cat named Sandy, who I will not stop on the bridge for, because I've had one cat drown already. I remember that much. Come here. There we go. So this is our cat, Sandy. She's very cute, very chatty. And this is our quarry. So I mostly just punch sand and talk about random topics, essentially. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get back into it and see how it all goes. So after that little introduction, today I kind of wanna talk about what I have been doing for the past year. Because I've been making a lot of videos, yes, but most of them aren't really, you know, updates or information on what's going on. What's, you know, happening in my life and stuff like that. <laughs> I guess. I guess. But, um, yeah, so I graduated from university last year and I had a summer job, but then I didn't really know what I wanted to do or anything like that. So I moved back home and I actually moved back home with Rujak, my boyfriend. Um, we moved into my parents' house, which, you know, it's kind of uh, weird in today's society and things like that, but you know, it was it's free housing. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I've been spending the past year kind of uh, exploring that and things like that. So, for the past year, I've been a substitute teacher at my old high school, ironically, and I've taught a couple of classes at the middle school level, and it's been really fun. So, for those of you that don't know, my degree is in biology, and I love the sciences, so the two classes that I taught were in computer programming, which is a whole other topic that I could go into on sanding, because I have never had a formal class on computer science and yet I taught middle schoolers how to you know do Lego robotics and make their own Android app and things like that but yeah I in have enjoyed subbing a lot uh, substitute teachers you know usually get a bad rap from kids you know they could do whatever they want and things like that and really I mean, to be honest they can do whatever they want when I'm their sub as long as you know most of them actually do their work, which is also surprising. Most of them kind of want to do their work. And, you know, as long as they're not disruptive, I'm okay. Um, and if the teacher wants them to work silently, I make sure they work silently and things like that. And I'm making this sound like I'm a really bad sub <laughs> from the teacher's point of view. But uh, fortunately, at the school that I'm at, the kids really do want to do their work. And they have a lot of homework that they need to do, so they don't want to leave it to the last minute, most of them anyway. Either that or they're very good at making it look like they're doing stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of weird going back to the school that I graduated from four years prior, you know, and be in a more, um, I don't know, like a, a teacher capacity, really. I, I'm only 22 and almost 23 and it's just it's weird it's a weird feeling i also have more acne than most of the students there and that kind of thing but that's another topic as well but it's just it's odd um and i can go into you know teaching and careers and things like that more 
if uh, it strikes my fancy for one of these sanding things. But yeah, so I moved back home with Pippin and with all of my stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, Pippin's been okay. We kind of have to keep her in my room only because uh, my parents have two cats and she didn't really grow up with other cats, but she loves to play and she loves to chase. And my parents' cats do not like being chased at all. So they get into fights and Pippin, you know, gets to be the bad guy. Um, so my parents essentially sentence her to my room um, yeah, it's not fun. There's certainly challenges to living with your parents after you're used to living on your own and that kind of thing, but yeah, so that's what I've been up to the past year. It hasn't been much. I've been uh, substituting and uh, making videos and things like that and quite literally living out of my parents' basement. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I guess another thing is that since I've been living here, most of my stuff is in boxes and I have a lot of stuff. I have way too much stuff and that includes clothing and most of my clothing is still in boxes and my books and all this stuff, mostly because I don't really have any space to take it out um, and all of that. So it's mostly just in boxes, which is stressful and then I haven't used these things in a year. So it's like, well, do I really need them if I haven't used them in a year, but I want them? And it's all the angst that goes along with hoarding. I I am a hoarder, and I really try hard not to be, <laughs> but I am. I am a hoarder and a compulsive shopper. So it's not a very good mix. <laughs> yeah, I've been living in boxes, and if you've seen um, one of the more recent Pippin videos on her channel, by the way, Pippin has a channel and it is back up and running after a long time as well. Um, that'll be linked down below. Uh, Pippin's my cat, if you guys didn't know. I've been talking about her a lot. I'm rambling. This is a series about rambling, obviously. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, so in one of the more recent videos, you can see boxes and boxes of stuff. And that's my stuff. Rujak doesn't have much stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we'll be moving out here in a couple months, um, but we're moving across country and we're only taking what we can fit in my little car and possibly a little trailer. So that means I get to whittle things down. <laughs> um, but I guess more on that move a little bit later as well. That'll be a whole nother topic as well. Um, yeah, so we, oh my goodness, it's nighttime. So let us, yeah, let's stop Punch and Sand here. And we'll get to go. Hi, Sandy. I'm sorry you kind of teleported. I didn't mean to run into you. But yeah, so, you know, things will get a little bit more smooth once I get into it. It's been a very long time since I've just talked. Um, and really, I probably should have written down a little list of topics that I could talk about that surrounded the past year. But that's mostly, that's mostly the update. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so on the uh, topic of sanding with Nerine, pardon me, I'm thinking of making this a once a week series. So if you guys have any topic suggestions or things like that, um, I have a lot of things that float around in my head during the week um, that I can talk about. And, you know, it can be anything. It can be really random. Um, or otherwise I might just talk about Pippin, which is always a great topic, right? <laughs> but, you know, let me know. And, um, yeah, so I'm excited for the next one and it's good to be back. It has been so long and I just, I love punching sand. <laughs> That is one of my favorite things about Minecraft. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next Standing with Nerine. Bye! Mm -hmm. <coughs> <sighs>